A private security guard finds himself caught up in an apocalyptic conflict. The devil's only chance of getting out of his eternal prison is to mate with the chosen girl in the last hour of the millennium. And the guard finds himself having to protect the woman from an enemy in whom he does not even believe. So End of Days came out in 1999 and of course stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, yeah sort of continuing on, continuing my action movie reviews kinda um, I really wanted to show my girlfriend an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie uh, she wasn't overly enthused so I thought I'd, I'd pick uh, End of Days just because it's action kind of Schwarzenegger movie but also kind of a horror flick um, so it was a bit of a compromise there a bit of a middle ground <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys haven't seen my reviews of some of the other Schwarzenegger movies I've talked about, which I plan doing a ton more, <laughs> I really need to, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger has always been, uh, an all-time favorite of mine. Ever since I was a little kid, he was kind of my favorite, you know, he was my favorite action hero by far, he still is. Um, he's probably one of my favorite actors in general, just, uh, besides that. Um... He's always been kind of a hero of mine. I remember reading uh, an autobiography of his at my school's library and trying to write about it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, I've always kind of looked up to him. I've always uh, really just enjoyed his movies. Um, but yeah, End of Days is, a, is an interesting one. It's definitely one of his most sort of uh, outside-the-box type of movies, especially like during the 80s and 90s. Um, you know, he's had some more mature roles, you know, like movies with like Aftermath and Maggie in recent years. Uh, this one was different. Um, it also does star, uh, let's take a look, uh, yeah, Gabriel Byrne, um, who I particularly know as Earl Harrelson from, uh, Vikings on History not too long ago. And then he was also just in Hereditary, you know, for, uh, you know, people who have not seen that show. And he's good here, you know, he's the, he basically plays the guy who happens to be the vessel for, uh, Satan, and he's good, you know, he has sort of a charm to him, sort of like a Dracula type of thing, um, but he's obviously very sinister, and that's something that I think this movie did fairly well, um, it does have sort of a good, uh, atmosphere and feel to it, it feels like there are walls closing in, it feels like a pretty dark world, um, at the same time it does have a slight, I don't know if I want to say B-movie vibe, but, you know, it doesn't, you know, it, it has its moments where it's a little bit kind of darkly funny, too. Um, and then you have uh, Robin Tunney, who plays Christine, um, the girl he's uh, seeking. And she actually does a pretty good job, too. Um, you know, especially with her, her emotion, I think, uh, it came out fairly well in most scenes, anyway. Um, and, of course, you got to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, again, I, I just love the guy. I always have, always will. And he's good here. Um, like I said, I, I think he's given his... Well, I mentioned uh, Aftermath and uh, Maggie, which I think are probably his best, most like critically acted performances. Um, but here, again, especially for one of his 80s or 90s movies, uh, it's probably his, one of his best performances out of those, I'd say. Um, especially uh, in this opening scene, he's actually you know contemplating suicide and stuff like that because of uh, what his character's been through, losing his wife and kid and everything. <coughs> I, don't, I don't know why that Google description said he's like a security guard. I, well, I don't know. <laughs> some, of those, some of those synopsises are uh, weird sometimes. Um, but you see this guy's at a very, very low point, and the movie doesn't dive into it maybe as far as he'd want it to, but when it touches on it, it's actually pretty good about his faith and just how far he's pushed away from himself and who he was, you know, than any faith he may have had before. It's understandable, and you do kind of feel for the guy. Uh, and it helps because I love Arnold Schwarzenegger. And sure, again, like in some of his earlier films, sometimes his reactions or some of his mannerisms when he's surprised or fighting, they're, they're a little bit over the top. <laughs> um... Uh, you know, I won't deny that, but he's still a lot of fun, and there's a, the movie isn't, like, jam-packed with, like, typical Schwarzenegger action either, there's a f couple good, uh, scenes, and there's, particularly, there's a fight in this alley, it's raining, it's, again, a pretty good mood to it once in a while, um, this whole mob that's being, uh, controlled by Satan corners him in this alley, and it's good, and he gets bloodied up, and the girl's watching on, and stuff like that, it's good, and I also like the ending to it, they went for, uh, not entirely ho Hollywoodized ending, I guess. Um, 
the test screen audience are like one of the lighter, you know, kind of uh, happier endings, a little bit better. Um, but this one gives a realistic uh, conclusion to the characters, and uh, I think it actually resonates better than it would have if they went with uh, the other one. Um, I don't want to spoil it here because apparently some of you haven't seen it yet. So yeah, end of days. It's not it's not perfect. Some of the acting besides those three are a little bit clunky. Uh, the pacing can be a little bit I don't want to say lopsided. It can be a little bit off sometimes. Um, it's maybe a tad too long. It could have been about like 20 minutes shorter, maybe. I I, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, let me guys thought about this one. I'm rating this one about a B minus or 82 percent because we're all obsessed with percentages. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.